I suppose one sort of standard uh, perspective on this is to say, well, what we have to do is to use, use, is to use this natural resource revenue to put African countries on the traditional path of transformation through manufacturing uh, to, uh, uh, and beyond in that way. And somehow that's viewed as that is a sustainable path in the, in, in the way. And while I'm sympathetic to that, uh, I'm not entirely convinced that that is the route uh, to go. And this is because it's not clear to me, given, given the way technology is going, given the way uh, things are moving, that in fact, the, if you like, the light manufacturer's route would necessarily be the route uh, uh, to go. It was clearly the right route for East Asia to go. It was the right route for China to go. It was also the right route for Bangladesh to go and for India to go. But given that all these countries have now gone that route, and given the technological changes that are taking place, I think at, at the very least we need to think about whether the structural transformations of the last 50 years are the relevant ones for the next 50 years. So how can we have, a, how can we have an economy which is open to whichever transformation turns out to be the right one to, to take? And I think, I think development of, of uh, physical infrastructure and human infrastructure, human capital, is, is, the, is the best diversified approach to be taking in this, uh, in this, uh, in this regard. So I would say that the revenue, uh, this natural resource revenue, should be used very strongly in building up human, in building up human capital uh, at all levels. Obviously basic primary education, but then uh, uh, advancing secondary education, and also I would say higher education and tertiary education uh, uh, as well. I think that's the safest bet to be, to be following. Secondly, uh, to, uh, using that in terms of basic infrastructure uh, for, for the society. I think that, you know, and here, you know, one can talk about electricity and so on, all, all sorts of things, roads, etc. And one can, and again, one can have a, a reasonable discussion about what types of mechanisms one can use, public-private partnerships, etc., etc. So I'm, I'm perhaps less, uh, less inclined to think about industrial policy, particularly in the sense of specific industries are the ones to be, to be, uh, 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 to be protected or to be advanced or encouraged and so on. Especially if one has not resolved the distributional issues uh, that I was talking about before. Okay? Because then industrial policy becomes the playground on which, not the playground, but the ground on which the distributional battle is played out. And that is clearly not the way to get an efficient response uh, to, uh, uh, to the industrial policy dilemma.